We're going to end tonight with a bit of a squabble over the quality of accommodation that an Auckland woman had. She's taken to social media to try and get a Rotorua hotel shut down saying it was mouldy dirty and run down to a point of being a health risk. Vicky May and her husband took their three children to the Silver Oaks Resort Heritage for their 10th wedding anniversary last weekend. She said they saved up the $151.20 per night for the much needed break after their house burned down a year ago. But Vicky says when they got there they were greeted with quote hotel hell and not quote the relaxing re-energising stay that was promised. But there were stains on the walls, there was mould everywhere, there was vanities were broken because they were rotten, kitchen benches were sw swelling, mould in the fridge, holes in the walls, um, food objects all over the curtains, ripped blankets on the beds, um, three towels for a family of five, cockroaches running up my son's leg. And what did you do when you got into this room and saw this? The first room after we found um, what looked like snot smeared on the wall and food on the duvet, we went down and complained and I also asked to move because my, one of my children are highly allergic to mould um, and the room just absolutely smelt. So they put us in a re better, well, what they say was a better room, with just a bit less mould smelling a lot better, but that was the room that the locks were broken on the doors they were locked with dead bolts because there wasn't even a handle on the ranch slider, holes in the wall, no knobs on the bathroom doors or wardrobe doors, um, mould in the fridge, swelling kitchen bench, uh, PowerPoints that you could pull out with your hand, which I think it was half the reason maybe why the jug literally exploded and launched up in the air, hitting the ceiling of the hotel roof. Um, after we complained several times, the jug was the last of the issues when we went over and asked for a refund, which he said he couldn't do, he gave us an email address. So we emailed them straight away before we left and then we departed and made our way back to Auckland before literally someone got hurt. And you've since been essentially called a liar by the hotel. What I do you say to that? I'm absolutely horrified. Um, but they reckon we there was no emails, there was no complaints. Um, and I gave them till Tuesday afternoon when they rang me and then told me that they did not see it was necessary for a refund. And we thought, we, you know, we saved really hard to take, go away and, and that's what happened. So basically, I'm not going to get my money back. Our weekend was ruined. So that was Vicky May. The Rotorua Silver Oaks, where Vicky and her family stayed, has more than 100 one-star reviews across several review websites. But one of the owners of the Rotorua Silver Oaks Resort, Greg Wilson, told our reporter Zach Fleming a short time ago his hotel is clean. He says Vicky is not telling the truth. But in the reality is the guests checked into a room, room 28, um, and basically we um, they um, stay there the first night. Uh, at 9.30 at night, they... Um, they came to reception and said they had a um, family crisis and had to leave and go back to Auckland. And so they checked out, and the only thing they said to us was that the jug had um, blown up. When we looked at the jug, there was no water around. We suspect they didn't put any water in the jug. She didn't raise any concerns at the hotel. She's taken pictures of a, uh, a tennis court that is next door. That was originally part of the hotel. But if you look on Booking.com and Expedia, it's, we don't advertise we have a tennis court anymore. I just find it interesting that you um, mentioned Booking.com and Expedia and whatnot. Yeah. Just going on those websites, there are quite a few uh, reviews of the hotel that are very negative, one, like one-star reviews. If I can read you just one here, it says that the... Uh, the place was disgracefully filthy, there was dirty services, the couch was filthy, the management were hopeless and rude. I think basically is that the rooms are clean. The, um, the, um, the, the pool is always clean. We have it cleaned every week by a bad plenty pool. The rooms are very clean. We, we absolutely, absolutely very clean. Uh, and we are currently in a refurbishment process of refurbishing the rooms. We have, um, we have boarders here refurbishing the rooms right now. Uh, and uh, uh, the rooms are categorically very clean. So I, I know they're clean. I have been through all the rooms, and I know they're clean. So what do you make of all these negative reviews, then, of people saying that they're not clean? 
uh, I think if any customer raises an issue, we're happy to resolve that uh, issue to ensure that it's um, that is resolved, and we always will do that. Um, I think basically is that, um, uh, uh, and, and if something is wrong, then we will certainly make every step to rectify the problem uh, to ensure they have an enjoyable stay. That's Greg Wilson, owner of the Rotorua Silver Oaks Resort. Uh, he offered Vicky two free nights if she wants to go back.